Hey, it's Hawken with Top Don. Today we're going to do a video on updating the drivers for J2534 capabilities on the MDCI that comes with the Phoenix Max and Phoenix Smart tools. So, uh, during this video, we're just going to demonstrate this for you live on the video. Uh, basically, the workflow is going to be as follows. We're going to plug in an Ethernet cable and a power cord directly to the MDCI and update it via the internet that way first. Then, after that update completes, we're going to plug in the MDCI to the computer. We're going to disconnect the Ethernet from the MDCI and just use the USB cable. And then we will update it using the J2534 suite. So, without further ado, let's show you the video so you can see the steps. Hey, it's Hawken with Top Don. And we're going to show you a couple of quick tips and tricks to update your MDCI Pro, uh, which is also used for J2534 functions. If you are having problems updating your J2534 using the PC suite, then we would recommend that you take the following steps. First thing we're going to do is we're going to connect the Ethernet cable directly to the J2534. Then we are going to connect an independent power supply. The power adapter that comes with the tablet should work just fine. So we're going to plug that in. And then what you're going to see is it's going to power up. And we're going to see what version it is at. Now it's automatically going to check itself for an update as soon as it powers up. So we'll give it just a second to do that. Okay, so we're going to see the version number there. And look, it automatically sees there's an update, so it's going to go ahead and do the update. So we're going to give it a few minutes to complete this process, and we'll come back when the update is completed. Then we'll show you what the next steps are. Okay, so the update has completed. You can see it says ready for diagnostics now. We're going to click on settings in the top right. And then we're going to look at the version. And here is the latest version. 1105-1064. The big thing is the 1064. So you want to make sure yours has been updated to this version. Now we're going to disconnect the Ethernet cable. It's okay if we leave the power cord plugged in, but we're going to disconnect that Ethernet cable. I'm going to go back, and now we are going to plug this in to our PC using the USB cable. Give it a second here. Okay, so we are connected to the PC now. We've got our J2534 program here on the far left. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Now, if you didn't run it as an administrator, you should run it as an administrator. So you can hold down Control on the keyboard or right click and run as an administrator. We're going to hit yes. Okay. So we should see this. It's going to come up and show us the version of the tool. Now, you should see that the serial number on the tool, which is right here, actually matches what's on the screen. 129. So it does not match. So we're going to actually hit upgrade and we'll see if it matches up after it upgrades. It should ping the tool when we hit the upgrade button. So we'll give it a moment here. We'll find out if it's going to complete the upgrade. So if for any reason it closes out like that, we're going to go ahead and right click on it again. Run as administrator. Go ahead. Okay, now it shows the proper uh, serial number, so we're going to go ahead and hit upgrade. And we'll see if we get any changes. and make sure that it shows all the correct information. And it looks like it does. So we got the right serial number, and it looks like we do have the updated firmware and DLL version. So everything is actually up to date now. 
Uh, no additional updates are required on this J2534, so we're actually good to go. So again, what we took you through in the process was plugging in the Ethernet cable directly to the MDCI and the power cable, letting it update itself over the Internet, and then checking the J2534 suite on the computer to make sure that everything is working correctly and is fully updated. After hey, it's Hawken again. Thanks for watching our video on updating the drivers for the J2534 on the MDCI. So to summarize, we're going to go to our next slide here and show you. Uh, we updated the MDCI using the Ethernet cable and the power cord directly connected to the MDCI first. Then we disconnected the Ethernet cable, plugged in the USB cable, connected to our Windows 10 PC, and used the J2534 suite to update the software. Now remember, all OEMs at this current point in time here in May 2023 generally are going to recommend Windows 10 and nothing else. So if you're running a PC with Windows 11, you're going to need to change that to Windows 10 in order to do programming with most OEMs. Now you'll always want to check with each OEM first as far as their software requirements and their hardware requirements uh, related to the PC hardware itself. If you're looking for training on J2534 programming and you are not familiar with how to get started, we would strongly recommend that you get in touch with l1training.com. Uh, they are the leading aftermarket resource on J2534 programming. So that's always what you're going to want to start with uh, as a resource is a training partner like L1 as they have a ton of videos showing how to set up your uh, software for each OEM and how to perform a ton of different specific steps related to each OEM. Uh, you need to also know that you cannot use one PC with one partition to program lots of different vehicle manufacturers. So if you're trying to do a Ford and a Mazda, you cannot have the software living on the same hard drive partition. This is a big no-no and it will cause unresolvable conflicts between the software which will prevent you from being able to complete those programming events. So if you are looking for a laptop that is already pre-set up and will be able to do all of the programming that you're looking for uh, with J2534, then you would want to explore a pre-set up laptop from a company like autorescuetools.com. Uh, they make laptops that are already set up to program given vehicle manufacturers. Uh, basically, you let them know which brands you expect to program, and they will set up the laptop appropriately so that there are no issues between different softwares.